is a review of two netbooks. I've had this one for a while. This is the Asus 1005 HAB. I've had this for about a year and a half. Uh, it's been excellent. Uh, it's it's a netbook. You, know, you if you want uh, if you want to just write to check your emails, watch an occasional video. It's great. It's uh, I mainly use it for writing. Um, it's it's been a wonderful machine. And recently I got the Dell Mini 10V because I wanted to upgrade the display to Pixel QI display, and the connector for this one is a 30 pin, and it just it's not compatible. And connector for this one is a 40 pin, and even though the backlight doesn't turn off completely, so you don't really get the benefit of having the backlight completely off added to your battery life. In reality, it's not really that functional to have the backlight off all the time. So the benefit you do get is that it's um, you can use you can turn the backlight down, you can still use ambient light to add to the light of the display, uh, and you can use it outside. It's uh, wonderful outside, it's wonderful outdoors. So design-wise, they're both nice. Let's see. This is a clamshell one, so it comes, it kind of tapers off at the edge. Um, this one came in purple. I didn't expect to buy it purple, but it's growing on me. Um, one of the things that is different is that the right here, this is the memory card slot. It goes completely in. Just like that, it clicks in and it stays there. On the Dell Mini, it doesn't do that, it sticks out. Just like that. To me, I use these things so rarely and only to import photos and take it right out. It makes no difference whatsoever. They both have three USB ports, two on this side, and then one on this side, right here. And then this one has the opposite, two on one side here, and one on this side. So now we're going to open them. I'm sorry about the camera, it's a little jiggly because I'm filming this from an iPod. Um, so it's handheld, I can't exactly mount it. So internally, they're about the same. The display is the same size. Camera on top, microphone, camera. Uh, camera on the 1005 HAB on the Asus, it is slightly better. I don't know if I got a defective one on this one, but it just doesn't adjust. There's a greenish kind of cool hue to everything. And in a dark environment, it's not really that usable. Um, but to me, usually when I talk over Skype and use the camera, I can be in a fairly well-lit setting. Um, so I would prefer, I, I definitely prefer the camera on, the, on this one, but I think this one, it might just be defective. Microphones on both work great. Uh, I've recorded with them, they sound very clear. The keyboard, the keyboard of, as you can see, let me just position the two of them a little closer together so the keyboard aligns here. As you can see, the Dell Mini has a slightly longer keyboard. As far as the width of the keys, uh, it's about the same. Both of them have the long shift key, which for me is important, on the right. Um, the keys themselves, I would say, uh, I may be biased in this because I've used this computer for a year and a half and this one I just bought um, several weeks ago. Uh, I'm very much used to typing on this keyboard and I like that there is space between keys. This, uh, For me this makes a big difference on I don't hit keys by accident. So even though they're slightly smaller um, height-wise, uh, for me this is a little bit more comfortable. As far as the key action, it's about it's about the same. Um, I imagine, I'm, I'm already, at first this was very annoying to me that all the keys here were stuck together, but as I'm typing more on this, I'm starting to get used to it and make less mistakes as I type. And um, it's, um, I think you just get used to it. I don't think it really makes that much of a difference. The trackpad. The trackpad, 
on the Dell Mini is uh, it's I guess it's the same height but it's much wider than this one also the uh, the Asus has uh, this weird texture that at first I found annoying as hell but after using it for a year and a half it just got used to it and it's, it just works and it, it does have these this, this button that you press on the left side or the right side and this works well so on this one it's a little more it's it's the buttons are actually inside there I put a little bit of velcro on top of this because the trackpad is really sensitive so when you press down it actually moves the cursor a little bit so for me that was extremely annoying and so I put a little bit of velcro so I can just use this and use this as, a, as, the, as the button and this has been nice this is this has been working for me some people may not find that annoying, but um, I I prefer not to have uh, the the tap click because on this small keyboard, and occasionally you end up clicking, uh, the, the hand ends up hitting uh, the trackpad, and if it just moves it, it's usually no problem. But if it actually clicks it, then um, I've experienced some things get moved, and it, it just becomes erratic and not very nice. But I'd say both trackpads about the same. All right, let's turn them on. Uh, oh yeah, uh, before that, um, this has the N270 processor, which runs at 1.6 gigahertz. This has the N280 processor, which runs at 1.66 gigahertz. In reality, it makes no difference. I've noticed no difference whatsoever. Uh, this, I, I've changed the memory from this computer to this computer. So now this has one gig and this has two gigs. And uh, let me tell you, the changing memory on a Dell Mini 10V is a complete nightmare. You have to take out your keyboard, you have to disassemble the whole computer. Take out this, take out the trackpad, take out the motherboard actually. You have to lift it off. Uh, so you have to disassemble the entire thing. Uh, and to put in the memory, so it's it's very not friendly to upgrade memory on a Dell Mini. Um, on the Asus, however, it's really easy. It's just to latch, you unscrew one screw, you pop it in, really easy. So I think it was just an oversight that they forgot to put a latch in the bottom because it would have been really easy. Uh, but just it's just something to keep in mind. It's definitely not for beginners or for people who are not comfortable with taking apart electronics. All right, so let's start them up. And they're going to wake up from hibernation because this is how I tend to I pres I notice it preserves the battery really well if it goes into hibernation instead of sleep, and it can be on for days, for even weeks, for a couple of weeks it can hold the charge without uh, without losing it at all. So this one started up just a tad bit faster but I've tried this a few times before it's not it doesn't really make that much of a difference uh, this is a small thing but here you can see the key is lit fairly bright this blue um, you get used to it and it stops mattering but if it's uh, if it's a if you're working in the dark it's fairly bright so you're staring at the screen which it is a, at a low setting and this key it's um, I wouldn't put it there uh, the light there. Uh, there's also all these keys that all these lights that you see uh, for wireless for everything. They're kind of redundant. Never end up looking at them. The Dell Mini only, ha only has one light. It's right here. When you type, you put your hand over it. Uh, you don't see it. Um, I think it's great. It starts blinking if the battery blinking orange if the battery is low. Um, that's that's about it about the computers the battery life the battery life on um, I got the extended battery for both of them this one has the 52 mAh uh, and this one has the 66 mAh so I get about seven hours on this one and about five hours on this one even with the pixel QI screen that I keep at low brightness um, so this does get battery uh, better battery life 
uh, you could and the battery for this at now you, you can get that high battery for I think it's $27 now whereas for this one if you want to get the 56 MAH battery which, which is still not 66 as much as this one uh, it's it gets expensive it gets uh, already like at least twice as much as this one to like 60 something 67 or something like that I looked into it uh, but 52 mAh which is the one that I have you can get for 30 bucks as well uh, they both the batteries lift the laptops so it's no longer flush so it lifts it like this and the same thing with this computer I found that actually comfortable. It helps to keep the computer a little bit cooler, and uh, it lifts it up. It's it's comfortable to type, so it makes it heavy. Uh, the battery weighs as much as the laptop, uh, but it's um, it's um, it's not a bad thing. It's if you want something really really portable, you'd probably get a MacBook Air, but if you want just something small to type and check your emails, uh, then this is fine. This works. Uh, then one interesting thing, it's, this is a fairly major thing, this is a passively cooled computer. So this has no fans inside. It's extremely quiet. Uh, it's really nice, but probably the battery suffers because of that. Uh, because it does get hot. They both get kind of hot, but this one has fans and it blows out the air on this side. There's a vent right here. And you can hear it. It's much louder. Uh, personally, I probably would prefer the quieter version, even if you, I do get a little less battery life. Um, but again, it's something you get used to. It becomes white noise that you just cease to hear. Uh, one major thing is that speakers on this one are really low volume. Uh, it's When talking on Skype at the highest volume, it's just enough to hear it so it's un it's usable I've done it I've talked on Skype on this thing for um, a year and a half that I've had this um, it works but it's uh, it definitely has to be in a quiet room the the Dell mini 10v has very loud speakers it's the it kind of blows out they get distorted but it's loud you can hear people and that's a pretty significant thing for me uh, so overall uh, it, this, this is a it's a much more usable machine in that sense and I think that's about it they're speed wise fairly equal so it's just a matter of aesthetics and make sure you like the keyboard make sure you like the mouse um, yeah and good luck choosing um, if I had to choose, I prefer the keyboard on this one, but everything else on this one.